everybody, Old School Rapper Pasket here. Um, today, it's going to be interesting. Um, I don't think I've ever received a CD player quite like this in a flat rate envelope. So we'll see. Um, picked this up off of eBay and I think I paid 30 bucks for it. I'm trying to remember now. Um, guy had it listed as part of a estate clear out. Um, by looking at the listings that the guy has, I would say that most of the items that he's selling don't work. Because um, a lot of the amplifiers that he had listed, they were missing parts. Um, a couple CD players, they're all missing harnesses and stuff like that. So I took a chance, made the guy an offer on it. Um, I do have a harness that I bought that I'm going to try out with it. Um, it's actually up here. This, for the time being, I don't know if this is going to work yet. I haven't tried it out yet. Um, this is for an Eclipse CD player. I was told about this by one of the guys on the um, Old School Rocker Fosgate page on Facebook that it's supposed to work, but this is an ECO2 and this harness, pull this out of here real quick, don't know if it's going to work, but this is a 16 pin plug, so we'll get to this here in a little bit, but the CD player is an RFX 8320, so I'll go here, we can take a look at the Information on the plug. Kind of go over everything real quick and real slow. It is a little rusty up here. I'm going to try to clean that off the best that I can. So back at the CD player, we have our pre-outs. This is our sum pre-out. We've got rear output. And then these, I don't know if these are going to be considered sub or what they are. So this is going to be for the CD changer. This particular CD player and I think the models within these years only work with one particular CD player or CD changer. Um, at least that's what I was reading in the owner's manual. But we do have a scratch on the front here. Volume knob. These buttons, this seems like it's stuck. These work. But this doesn't. This button is stuck. That button's stuck. So yeah, might have to take it apart and clean it up a little bit. But this is the RFX 8320. And we'll check this plug out real quick. So it does fit into the back. I am pulling on it and it does come out so it doesn't really lock in the way that it should because there should be this piece right here that you push down on. That doesn't seem to lock in, but it does go in uh, let's take a look here. Well, I'll hook it up, try it out, let you guys know in the comments down below um, of the video and stuff. So if you have any questions about it, feel free to give me a holler, drop me a like, uh, drop me a question, thumbs up, do whatever you guys want. And uh, yeah, have a good one. 